the poor transition of graduate engineers to professional accreditation is the disconnect between theoretical learning and field needs. The Engineers Board of Kenya Graduate Engineers Internship Program Manager Engineer Samuel Abichi says Kenya has 2,500 registered professional engineers pushing a lot of local development projects to foreign companies. About 25,000 engineers have graduated from different fields in Kenya, but this reflects poorly on the number of fully certified and professional members of the field. If we compare this with the UNESCO ratio that says that for a, a population of uh, uh, 10,000, we should have one engineer, it therefore means that our number is far much below uh, the one prescribed by UNESCO. A little bit of the curriculum in institutions so that it can be more hands-on, more practical, so that when people leave, they have an idea of what is happening apart from the theoretical aspect as well. At a tenth of the total number of university graduates, just 2,500 engineers are professionally accredited by the regulatory body, limiting significantly the number of engineering professionals allowed to take up projects. The problem with that is that when we go out to practice, you get some graduate engineers being engaged uh, to supervise as infrastructure works that are going on. It prepares one to be a professional engineer. Once you come out of um, the undergraduate, you are full of uh, what you have been taught, the theory skills and everything. But now here we come one-on-one -on -one with the practicals, what is required for a proficient and a professional engineer. The Engineers Board of Kenya is trying to boost these numbers through mentorship and postgraduate placement programs. You know, it's not just about working in Kenya, you know, you want to expand your your portfolio to be able to work in other countries that demand the same services. All solutions are engineer, uh, engineering. As much as they want to bring solution to this country and the universe, engineering is a platform which now transforms society to become the best area. The engineers note, as technology progresses, the job market requires a different skill set and thus there should be periodic adjustments to suit these needs. Yeah, so in the engineering process, as you can see, there are a lot of technologies coming up. So they shouldn't give up. They should just think and tap into new technologies that arise. Ibak Said for Easy Friday.